Mm. Do you hear that? Some Georgians along the coast were hit with heavy hail yesterday. Someone in Brunswick, Georgia, recorded this video of hail pelting the roof. Uh, I did not hear any hail last night, but I certainly heard some lightning and thunder. And for the first time in a long time, it actually woke me up. It was a <laughs> loud evening last night, but Samantha, luckily nothing quite like that today. Not during the daytime hours, and we will be watching for the next round to move in as we get into Monday. So many folks heading back to work after a spring break, and Monday may be a little stormy before all is said and done. Look at all the lightning that we did have. You're absolutely right. It was loud with all the lightning, thousands of lightning strikes and some very heavy downpours. And it did produce large hail in Alabama before it rolled into Georgia. They had a half dollar size hail, so thank goodness we didn't see that as it moved on in. But we did have the heavy rain. In fact, some spots picking up around an inch and a quarter here as that line of heavy driving rain moved through. We picked up almost two inches near LaGrange. We picked up uh, eight tenths of an inch in Midtown. And these amounts just continued to uh, come in during those early morning hours. And now things are really tapering off just a few little light showers out there and some low clouds and some fog causing some issues here around uh, Floyd County stretching on over in towards Gainesville and uh, in the Athens area looking pretty murky as well. But we're seeing the heaviest of the rain is moving off to the east now and stretching out to the west in Memphis. They're getting pounded by some thunderstorms and there are more storms that will be heading in our general direction. So we're looking at this area of concern, which is a slight chance for severe storms today, stretching from southeast Texas all the way up into the Tennessee Valley. We are not going to be in that area, but northwest Georgia does have a chance, a marginal chance, so an isolated chance to see severe storms as we head, I think, mainly in to the overnight hours again. That doesn't mean we won't see a few occasional showers today, but nothing like the driving rain we saw last night. And I think that did help out our pollen count a wee bit, although it's really um, we had all day yesterday accumulate some of this pollen and we didn't see a lot of rain during the day yesterday. So 962 is still in the high range, but it sure beats what we had just a couple of days ago when we were the highest we had been in some six years, 6,262 particulate. So at least we're heading in the right direction. And I think with the rounds of rain the next few days, things will get a little bit better each day. And so by Tuesday, hopefully we'll all be breathing a little easier. So this afternoon really warming up. We should be near 80 degrees by later this afternoon. Slight chance for a few of those nuisance showers pop through. No thunderstorms though. So this is what our modeling is telling us as we head through the day. Just some very light nuisance showers scooting on through. We'll have periods of sunshine and a southerly breeze. That'll be enough to warm us up to near 80 degrees by later this afternoon noon for a high temperature. And then you notice the clouds increasing again. Maybe a few thunderstorms as we head into the late evening hours, uh, possibly here across North Georgia as we head into the overnight hours. And then I think the main show is going to be moving in as we head into Monday. Now this is during the morning commute. I think we're mostly dry and then we'll see that chance for showers and storms popping up during the day Monday and then even into a Tuesday morning as well as we continue to stay in this unsettled pattern for much of the week and more driving rain could be coming in for the first part of Tuesday and then throughout the afternoon as well. So here's a look at your seven day forecast, a 30% chance of those showers and storms today. Um, no real storms today. I think that would be overnight tonight and then a 70% chance as we head into our Monday and then by Tuesday things start to improve and by Wednesday we're looking at an 11 alive day, a much drier day with more sunshine to look forward to midweek.